In this video, we're going to talk about partial styles, modifying existing partial styles that are already in the drawing, and creating new partial styles for the drawing. So the first thing we're going to do when we're dealing with partial styles is we're going to go ahead and navigate to the settings tab inside of the tool space window. Under parcels, you can go to the parcel styles drop down, and these are all of the parcel styles that are existing in the current drawing. If you wanted to modify one that you're currently using in the drawing, you can go ahead and right click on it. This little golden triangle in the upper corner signifies that that style is currently being used in the drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and look at property and right click on it and select edit. So if I want to edit this, I can dive through all these tabs. But since we're going to be creating a new style for this drawing, I'm going to go ahead and get out of this window and create a new one. And we'll work through these tabs as we create the new parcel style. So to create a new parcel style, what you do is you go and click on this parcel styles folder, right click and select new. And then we'll start off in the first tab. So we're going to give this new parcel a name of park. Moving on from there, uh, if you wanted to, you could put a description in. We're going to go to design. What design is, is it is basically deciding what we want to do for our parcel pattern fill and whether or not we want to fill the whole parcel or just observe a fill within a certain distance of the edges. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to unselect observe fill distance because I want to fill in the entire parcel. And then this is our parcel name template. Uh, I am not going to modify our parcel name template for this parcel style. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to the section tab. What the section tab is, is it is a uh, selection on how Civil 3D will display a parcel if it is encountered when you're creating a section view of a roadway alignment. We don't want to display our parcel as part of a cross section. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as no marker and then we'll move on to display. So in display, we choose how we're going to display this parcel in three different view directions. We have plan view, model view, and section view. So if we had selected a marker inside of section and chose a specific type of marker, under display, if we went to section, we would choose that section display style, what layer it's on, what color it is, what line type and scale and line weight and plot style. If you selected one, but you didn't want to display it, you could always turn it off. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to work in plan because most of the time when you are looking at these parcels, you're going to be looking at them in plan view. So I'm going to turn on both the parcel segments and the parcel area fill. Parcel segments is the outline of the parcel that you are dealing with. And the parcel area fill is the area inside of those parcel segments, the closed area inside of those parcel segments. So we're going to make both visible. Since this is a park, I'm going to make it green. I'm going to select my parcel segment to be a dark green. I'm going to go with 92. And then I'm going to go ahead and choose a color to do parcel area fill of 90. If you wanted to, you could choose a layer and then specify in your layer manager uh, what you wanted that color to be. And you could just choose your color to be by layer and, and do it that way. My What I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to leave it as forcing the color in this parcel style. Moving on from there. Since we're going to display a fill, I want to choose what my fill pattern is going to be. So this is the parcel area fill, and this is the pattern we're going to use. If I select the user single right here, a window comes up letting me choose my hatch pattern. I'm going to drop this down, and I'm going to select a predefined hatch, which is the hatches that are loaded inside of Civil 3D, similar to the hatches you would use in the hatch command. So I'm going to drop down. Since this is a park, I'm going to go ahead and choose grass. So I'm going to scroll down to grass, select grass, and select OK. In here, you can signify what you want the angle of the hatch to be. That would be important if you were using like a diagonal hatch or something like that. And then I can choose a scale. I'm going to go ahead and make my scale 10. And then I'm going to move on to the summary tab. And the summary tab just gives you the information regarding the previous four tabs. So who created it, um, some of the design parameters. So now that we're done creating this new parcel style, we're going to go ahead and hit apply and hit OK. And what we're not going to have uh, is it's not going to be displayed anywhere because we haven't specified any parcel to display it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and choose property 25 here. I know I want to make this a park, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to go up here to parcel properties, and I am going to change my object style to park. And I'm going to go ahead and hit apply and hit OK. And so what you'll notice happens here is the park parcel displays the segments in green and dark green and the fill in 
the lighter green, and then it overlays on top of the purple lines that were here before. So property 24 shows three purple lines and then a green line on this edge over here. If you, for some reason, wanted the purple to show up on top of the green, that's handled under your prospector tab. If you drop down into your parcels, so I know that my parcels are inside of the development site and I go to parcels here and right click and select properties. Um, what you can do is basically set your display order. So you can see here park is being displayed over the top of property. If I wanted the property parcel style to display over the top of park, I would just bring property up above park and then hit apply. And now you'll see that the green line was overlaid. What you also notice is all of the dark greens went away and that is because we have the right of way parcel is a property parcel. We also have the exterior boundary as a property parcel. And we also have this exterior boundary here as a property parcel. So this park parcel has is bounded by other property parcels. And so green gets covered by all of the property parcels that display over it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna to go to properties for my parcels and I'm gonna go ahead and take park and bring it above so that my dark green lines apply again.